Hello viewers, here we have got a Lenovo IdeaPad 310. 310 is a quite a stable uh, series for uh, IdeaPad and it has got a lot of uh, models previously and currently this series is also active. This one is uh, i5, let's have an explore it. This one is Intel i5, 6th generation and 2.3 GHz with uh, 8GB RAM and 1 TB hard disk and then it has got uh, of course optical ROM DVD ROM I mean and the display is 14 so the model exact model for this one is uh, IdeaPad 310 14 ISK okay let's uh, proceed with its uh, opening important stuff that I have kept in here. Okay, thrust is just the safe packing. Here we have got power adapter and it is quite huge. You can see it. This one is quite huge. But in this one, they have got only one. Before we have a connection and extension kind of scenario. Here we have only the main bucket. This one, everything is included in this one. There is no other point in the table. Okay. So it seems that cable is little, small, little less in uh, length. It should be longer because this is one piece, so it should be longer. It means the users have to go for uh, extension cable if the power socket is not nearby. This is uh, user's manual. I think multiple languages. Okay, let's take the device out. Okay. Here we have got the device. Lenovo IdeaPad 310 okay on the front side we have two speakers on the right side we have uh, CD-ROM and USB ports I believe one will be charging or not let's explore and here is the lock port anything on the back side no and here we have got uh, VGA and uh, LAN card and HDMI and this one is USB 3.0 and this one is combo audio 2-in-1 for uh, microphone and headphone same like the smartphones and this is the card reader and on the back uh, we have got here this is not removable the code is screw and this one is Windows. Windows 10 is supposed to be inside the device. Okay. Here we have the device. IdeaPad 310. The RAM is DDR4, not DDR3. And it has got anti dust fan. And it has got 2 GB uh, GeForce. NVIDIA 420MX. Uh, there is one model with M, but this one has got MX. And if you see here, it has got uh, Dolby Audio. And this is the power button here. Let's see if is there is some battery available or we need to charge. No, apparently, I think it is not charged. We need some charging to start the device. And here we have the camera. And that's all for the device. We will try to connect to the power and see if we can have a first boot up. Okay, users, uh, we have connected the device to power and we are trying to boot it up.
Yeah, this is the welcome message from the Lenovo. And since this is the first boot up, it will be a little bit cold. It is 6th generation uh, i5, although the difference between 6th uh, generation and 5th generation is marginal as compared to 4th and 5th, but it is uh, the, currently the latest one, 6th generation. I think to save your time we should uh, fast forward it. Okay, here we have got the first uh, screen and I think, hi there, since this is uh, purchased from Saudi Arabia, so it has got English and Arabic and in the demo machine they were saying that this is one time selection, it cannot be changed later on, and there are some uh, OSs which support runtime changes, you just change the language of the machine from A to B and you boot up so it's all in the B. But in this one, it was saying as Windows 10 Home, single language. So once the language you have selected, it cannot be changed. We are proceeding with English. Okay, let's proceed with the default one. I hope we can change these values later on. Okay, here we don't have any other option other than accepting. For the time being, I am uh, skipping this. I'm not much fan of these kind of activities. Some are necessary will and some we can avoid. And most of these options are not uh, of any practical use other than some countries of the world. They are saying just a moment. Let's see how many moments actually it is. While uh, we are waiting for the device to get to the main screen, I would like to point out one issue on the device. Here we have uh, the stickers for the processor and the graphics card. But I have noticed this in multiple devices that normally these device these stickers are not in a proper line if we see here these stickers are in a going down direction as compared to be the parallel to this line if we see this one the device it seems it's very uh, straight line as compared to the device it seems straight but this one these are going inclined down instead of doing at the 90 degree uh, sorry i mean zero degree Just a moment every time you read, it means just a moment more. I think we should save your time and fast forward. Okay, here they are asking for the account. Let's see if they allow us to skip it. Okay, we say the standard Windows name John Doe. We'll just say John.
they are asking to create a Lenovo ID. I am not sure if this is a required one or not. McAfee live service join conversation. Okay, set me up register if we can. If they allow us to proceed. Okay, after unchecking, we were unable. We were able to escape it. Now these messages are uh, from Windows 10 and previously before it was pre OS configuration kind of although this is part of OS but this one comes when you have done the configuration now Windows is doing the housekeeping so we will to save your time we are going to fast forward it okay finally we have reached the test stop and it has got a very colorful wallpaper by Lenovo. Okay, in this PC, in properties. Okay, for this thing, this screen I have been waiting for. Okay, here we have got uh, i5, 6th generation and uh, 2.3 to 2.4 It has got 8 GB uh, RAM and it is mentioning that it is DDR4 And this one is Windows Home 10 single language edition Okay since there is no more uh, index that we have previously in previous version of Windows up to I think Windows 7 or Windows 8 so we are going to skip that part although we can do this through third party but we are going to skip that on a closing note I would just like to mention that this device it is uh, although the size is 14 inch but it has got uh, optical drive and it has got only uh, USB 3.01 port since everything is going for uh, USB I think manufacturers should allow more sockets for USB so that users could use the devices directly without using the hub and it is saying the Dolby sound so just have a look how we can get the sound effect Okay, and if I increased it, I'm not sure how much the effects will be captured by the video. But we can feel the depth of the sound. Okay viewers, that's all for the unboxing of the device. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you like it. And we were looking forward for your comments and feedback. Thank you.